This is what it was like when I left the house, the, the, the apartment today. And this is what it should be like every day now that we are in, uh, now that we are in April. And this is what it's like a few hours later after the cloud seeding. There's two types of cloud that they seed. One type traps the heat in and seems to magnify it. And the other type keeps the heat out and everything seems a lot cooler than it should be. Today, these clouds are the ones that stop the heat. So just the little tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny little cloud that's covering the sun at the moment is taking away all the heat out of the sun. How's it managing that? Did you pay good money for your holiday to Tenerife? I need to have it fucking <coughs> ruined because it, the weather wasn't what it was always supposed to be because the weather wasn't as guaranteed as it always has been. What this is called, as far as I'm concerned, what this is called is playing God. Playing God. So, Bill Gates and his like are playing God with the weather because Bill Gates thinks that he has the right to create these blankets of cloud to trap the sunlight and to block the sunlight because he feels, sorry, because she feels that she's got that right. She plays God and pays for these planes to spray this sh Did you just spend, have you just spent 600 pounds plus on a holiday in the sunshine? I need to find that that guaranteed sunshine that was always there before is no longer guaranteed. And that the temperature that was always guaranteed before is no longer guaranteed. Now it's colder and it's humid and the sun isn't as guaranteed as it used to be. But it's not nature that's done that. It's not nature that's done that. It's climate change that's done it, but it's not, it's not anything to do with our cars or our CO2. Nothing to do with CO2 and everything to do with this, with these cameras they spray. And they call it geoengineering. Oh, because because Bill Gates is just such a clever man. He's just such a smart man that he is able, he's intelligent enough to mess with our skies. <laughs>